This video will show the IS400 engraver with cylindrical attachment engraving a aluminum cylinder. I was going to use the volume, but uh, it was still uncrated, and so I thought rather than go to the work of uncrating it, I would do this sample on the IS400 because the process here would be the same. The volume lets you do larger diameters and lets you tilt the uh, cylindrical attachment to accommodate for tapered parts. So here we're going to go. We're going to engrave first at four thousandths of depth uh, with a single flute conical end mill. And I need to adjust the Z depth, so I'll bring it down until the nozzle touches the material. And we'll put a little spring pressure because the spindle is spring-loaded. We want a little spring pressure for it to uh, follow any slight curvature that there might be. I just lessen that pressure. Okay, here we go. Increase the depth a little bit by increasing the micrometer dial from four. I'm going to go up to about eight. And we'll go over this for a second pass to make sure it's all the same depth. about three minutes to do one pass. I'm going to increase the depth up to 15 and I'm going to just put a little uh, machine oil on here to help with the uh, tool life. And we'll just run the same job again. Now we're got a total of about 15,000 depth. Once you find the tune of this process, you could probably get by with making two passes, maybe one pass. And a second cleanup pass, you make the engraving a little bit nicer.
do one final pass at 20,000 depth. Okay, we're Clean out the chips a little bit. And we'll run this the final time.